Hey everybody, this is MG Vids bringing you another game review. This time we're talking Lost Empire, made by Crazy and Fun Game. Lost Empire is basically a alliance-based uh, strategy war game, uh, similar to Game of War. So I'm building and, and leveling and improving my castle and city, and at the same time I can join. I'm joining an alliance uh, to pair up with others on my team that we can so we can attack the other. Uh, castles and cities around us. So you can see here's here's the alliance that I'm a part of right now. Um, unlike Game of War, so it's very similar in all, in pretty much everything, uh, but when you get into quests, you see I'm doing one quest right now. When I get into quests, I have kingdom quests, I have daily quests. Um, you don't, you, know, you notice it's missing like the alliance quests. So in Game, Game of War you have those alliance quests that you can work on as well. You don't have that here. Um, a lot of stuff here on on the menu, and if I looked at it, if I wasn't saying you know, hey, graphics, sound, etc., kind of where is that? For me, this is a little bit better than Game of War, but it's still a lot if you're playing on. So I'm using it on a phone right now. It is a lot of stuff to look at on a phone. Um, so I think this would be better played on a tablet, uh, just because it's not <laughs> everything's not as tiny. So you know, looking at your resources along the top or scrolling through all of your different menus can get a little cramped on a phone. Uh, I guess if you have a phablet, maybe that's that's not an issue. But uh, for me, it's it's pretty tiny, so that would be, you know, for me, uh, not great. Um, controls are pretty straightforward. Uh, well, you know, from the aspect of I'm tapping on buildings, and then I can, I'm either upgrading or clicking on, on an empty plot of land to construct, right, to choose a building to construct. One helpful feature this game has when you first start is it has the uh, basically the computer AI that kind of walks you through, hey, here's what you need to build as you're going through. That's really helpful. Additionally, in the quest menu, right here, it essentially will recommend you that top quest every time is telling you what it, what you should be trying to do next to improve, uh, collect that, to improve your uh, kingdom, right, to get stronger. So that's helpful in at least guiding you so you're not completely lost because there is a lot to do in this game. You can see how gigantic my castle is and then outside the castle all the stuff that I'm building. So recommending what the what a ne good objective for you to do next is is helpful so that you don't get lost in the game um, because you know from the replayability side you know confusion, complexity that can sometimes frustrate people and not make you want to continue to play the game, right? You say, this is really confusing, I don't feel like learning all this. But at the same time, too, a game with this level of depth is not for anybody as well, right? This is targeting a certain group of people that like these complex strategy games. So if that's you, um, then you're gonna, and this is going to appeal to you. Uh, I was, was not a big Game of War fan, um, but uh, thought it was would be beneficial to go through this for everybody, because um, Lost Empire is very similar. On the money side, you know, there are in-app purchases to get uh, additional resources or to get, you know, gems, I guess. You can pay you can pay for those, which helps to complete things faster. Um, I'm not going to buy any, but I'll just show you kind of where it takes you through. So that, that was you know, 2,400 gems is $20. I'm not going to do that, but there you go. So, I mean, overall, <clears throat> Lost Empire, similar to... Game of War, if you like that, you're going to like this game. The Alliance piece is a little bit different. Uh, because while you can still help out your buddy, you are not... You don't have those Alliance quests. At least I haven't unlocked them yet, if they're there. Um, so, from that aspect, you know, if you're trying to say, hey, what is this similar to, like, yeah, Game of War. If you played that, you're going you're gonna to be able to figure this out really fast. If you're new to this, that tutorial piece helps. So, you know, graphics sound look great. Um, but again, for me, playing on a phone, a little cramped and small <laughs> with all this stuff. Uh, but overall, it's okay. The controls, the tutorial is really helpful so that you don't get lost. Um, I can see in the replayability, uh, if you're not a strategy person, this is going to be a challenge because uh, you may get frustrated or there's just there's a lot to get through, right? But um, so keep that in mind. And then from a money aspect, you know, there are in-app purchases to get more gems, for instance, but that's not a hindrance to the game. And so overall, you know, like I said, if you're a strategy person, um, you like the alliance cooperative piece to attack other alliances, 
in Kingdoms, this is this game will probably uh, work for you. So uh, this is MG Vids bringing you uh, Lost Empire, and I hope hopefully this is helpful. Um, and if you want us to go into more detail to explain some of the other menu options, uh, just let let us know in the comments. Uh, thanks everybody.